to you all about my thoughts on choosing a gym. If you watch uh, this channel, you know that I'm a health club owner. Um, uh, we own different business models uh, and, and we've owned them in multiple states. And the first thing, well, if you guys like this stuff, uh, I talk about, I, I interview nutritionists and personal trainers, and uh, we talk about health and staying healthy as you age um, and, and for beginners, just what's going on in the gym. Like and subscribe. If you guys are interested in finding out more about testosterone replacement therapy, there's a link and uh, there's a link in the description and there's a phone number there. You can call Royal Medical. That's an affiliate of mine uh, if you're interested in finding out more about that. But let's talk about how to join a gym if you're thinking about that. First of all, I highly recommend it. And you've heard me say, you know, I like to work out at home too. I like to do stuff outside, go for walks and stuff like that also. But the gym is just a great place to be it they're they're so positive and uh it's a great place to meet people and people you know we've had members that have been in our gyms for 25 years and it, it's it's a family it's it's their gym but let's talk about some of the things that i think are important to help you get into the gym and stick with the with the location or the gym that you choose. So first of all, you got to know that every gym has a different personality. Almost all of them are positive, but, and if you don't believe me, try going into two different gyms that are different. They feel different. They're just, you, when you go in, you can, you can feel that atmosphere, that energy in the gym and they all have a different feel. And during the day, that personality, so to speak, is going to change. If you go at, you go work out at 530 in the morning, there's going to be certain people there. It's going to have a certain feel. If you go at lunchtime, it's going to have a certain feel. If you go after work, maybe six o'clock, that gym is going to have a certain feel. If you go right down the road or right across town, that gym is going to have a lot of times a completely different feeling in the same town. So go again. I, I love for people to join our gyms, but if you're thinking long-term and I'm just saying, you know, make sure that the gym fits you. Our gyms might not fit you. They don't fit everybody, but they fit a lot of people that like how they feel in there and they, and some people don't like them. So like I said, go into two or three gyms and you'll know what I'm talking about. Go into two or three different types of gyms. They're going to feel different. But here's the first thing that I think is really important that I would mention when you're trying to decide which gym you want to join. For me, I want it to be convenient. That's why I like to work out at home a lot because it's convenient. It's easy. So it's either something on your way to work or on your way home to work or, um, or on, on your way home from work or a place near where you live or very close to where you work. I like for me close to where I live and we just happen to have a gym that's very close seven minutes from where I live. It takes me seven minutes to get there. That's not bad. Most people are going to be within three miles of their gym. But the reason I think that's important, convenient for you, is it's easy not to do it if it's not convenient. It's easier to go to the gym when it is convenient. When it's not too much trouble, when it's easy to go there, it's easier not to put it off if it's convenient. That's the biggest thing. And of course, there's all kinds of different prices. There's all kinds of different business model models. But 
anyone can afford a gym. Just about anyone can afford a gym that's high end, you know, that where the gym membership is over a hundred dollars a month. Why do I say that? What are your priorities? Look, how many people spend over a hundred bucks a month on coffee or on fast food? Some people spend more than that. So the reason I say affordability is not usually an issue, it's a priority issue. So if working out, exercising in a gym is a priority for you, you're going to find the money to be able to do that. If you want to get a personal trainer, if you want to buy extra programs or extra classes or whatever, I don't know how all the gyms work. I just know how ours work. Then you're going to spend the money on what your priority is. And maybe you might want to change your lifestyle. Maybe you might want to change your priorities. In other words, maybe you might want to stop eating at fast food restaurants because it's easy or stop getting all the coffee full of sugar and junk. Um, you know, the, the coffee drinks, I, I don't think coffee's bad. I drink it, but some of the stuff that goes in it or that goes with it, um, it's not good. Um, not healthy. So maybe you want to change your habits. Um, and gym memberships, we have gym memberships as low as $10. We have gym memberships, just the memberships in, in other business models that are $150 a month. So all depending on what you want. So I think the convenience is the, the, the first and most important thing. And then price to me is not a big of an issue. If it's a priority, get what you want. Get the gym you want. Get the gym that feels good to you. Go into more than one gym. And you might find a gym that feels good to you, that you like, that you like to walk into, that might cost less money. Uh, it might, there's different styles. You know, there's some gyms have more free weights and more plate loaded. And the people are different in certain gyms. Some of them are more serious and more advanced lifters than others. Some are more, you know, laid back and more beginners. Some gyms, some of our gyms have a variety of everything. Overweight people, skinny people, young people, old people. That's how most 